Well, it's interesting that after the press conference where the president is told he's such a bad guy because he berates the media, and the media deserve it, not that the president has everything right either, and then he says fake news, fake news, fake news, and then and then the very next day, the AP releases this story about the National Guard being used to round up immigrants and so on and so forth. Thousands of them, maybe tens or hundreds of thousands, I don't know, are going to be used to do this. Five minutes later, they say, no, we never had a memo that said that. They say, this is, this is false. This is indeed fake news. And so the media t continues with the story as though it's something to talk about. That's the amazing thing. Even after it's been refuted, even after, um, you know, it's been exposed, I guess. Maybe later on it'll come out that there was a grain of truth or something to it. But they go on and on and they come up with these hypotheticals. That's the craziest part. And no, I don't have a link to this one because it was on the radio. I know everything is supposed to be a link these days. Not that it matters because very few people see my videos, but I figure since I have a channel, I might as well make videos. So, yeah, they interviewed Bill de Blasio. He was on the radio and, um, you know, asked him what if they were to do I mean, what if? They just got done saying that none of this is true and they're going to go into this hypothetical situation. So this is the fakest of fake news. Beyond that, the only thing that still bothers me is the way that um, the Michael Flynn thing was handled and it still doesn't really make any sense that they would let him go because um, that is a big mistake. That is a big mistake and I don't know how they're trying to get around the fact that this is a big mistake. You know, uh, it, sh it, showed, it showed the other side that they can, um, that they can affect things, that they can, that they can bring down, that they can have a palace coup or whatever it is they're, attend they're trying to do a coup basically, basically a palace coup. And that's why it was bad to even to even concede. You shouldn't do that. Only because the other side, not that they're good, but the other side is definitely bad <laughs> these days. And I'm from the left, and I've never seen anything like this. The constant, incessant Russia, 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 Russia did it, Russia did it. <sighs> you know, and meanwhile... Trump even explains to them that don't you understand that we that there's two countries on earth that could basically just wreck everything and that's us and Russia. And no, they don't get it. They just want to press on. You know, and and continue on with this war talk. Meanwhile, Trump messed up. He he fired Flynn and that there might be a backstory. Some people have said some different things that I don't. I'm not confident enough to repeat. So I don't, and I don't know enough about it to repeat. But there, yeah, there probably was a lot more going on than I know, than a lot of people know, of why he was let go. But it just, it just does not inspire confidence from his, from his side, from the people who support him, and. Well, that's mainly it, and it gives too much confidence to the people who are trying to overthrow him. Lastly, meanwhile, the last thing, at least today the story was, at least from a few outlets, the New York Post, some others, that Tillerson basically fired a whole bunch of um, State Department people who were probably... Li could likely have been, maybe were, who knows, working against Trump. At least, at least he got rid of the old and is bringing in the new. And we'll see if that changes what's been going on. Because this, 
I just don't see how this can keep going on the way it is. It's just and and if they get rid of Trump, that's even worse. If they make him step down or whatever it is they're trying to do, that's even going to be worse because that shows that we aren't a democracy at all, which everyone should probably have figured out by now.